Okay, got the case moved down. So now we can go ahead and center up the bore here. Got my indicator up on here now. Uh, put it in neutral so I can rotate it. Yep. Get rid of the depth stop. Good reserve all our zeros now. Right. Loosen that up some moves. There it goes. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and go like this. Make sure we're not gonna hit anything important. Until we touch. Oop. So we're not hitting on that side yet. Or that side. Okay, now we're not hitting anything again. Move it a little bit further. Here, so we move it to center. Move this in until it touches. It's five. Pull this one away. <coughs> scale again. Yep. Just keep splitting in half until you get the number you want. Okay, yep, that went too much. There's five. Five in the center. Almost five, so we need six. We need six over here. Of course it goes to seven when I do that, but yep. Okay, that's this one here. There's six tenths more, okay. Flopping over six. Back down to about five. Look up there. Okay. So ground zero, give or take a little bit. And somewhere in that area. Okay, this side over here, we're flopping around zero, give or take a little bit. Okay, so you look at the flop between the two case slips. So you got three over, three under, so. Not quite that much, but close. So, just over zero is our center point. Okay, I go over here to the side, see what we got over here. Yeah, it's about the same, so that means we're pretty centered. Okay, we're pretty even. And over here, bouncing all over five and a little above. A little heavier right in that corner, a little lower over there. So this case is warped over here a little bit for some reason. So the high spot's right here, so let's go check this corner over here and see if it's the same high spot. Not quite. About a five in going on. Right there's a high spot on this one's here, the other over here is high over here. Okay, so we're about half a thou off. We're at 11 tenths, so let's drop that back to 8. 8. One more, come on. Give me one more. Screw it, I'll live with that. 
Okay, now I go back and forth, so now that side's about eight on that side. It's only seven on that side, it's low over here, so that didn't help. So our lowest point's over here, which is way down there. But we're low on this corner here, so it's about the same. All right, so we're pretty even. It's out around and everything, so we should be close. That's why we have to cut it. It's not round. And I'm measuring about a half inch below the deck height. Now we can go a little bit lower, but see we're about a little bit past halfway right here. Yeah, about halfway. So we're pretty far down. That should be a good area to be spinning around checking things. Okay, so that's got that part handled. So we're zeroed up on there, so I can put the boring bar back in there and punch it down. Cut it until the cylinder fits on it. Should be golden. So I got a cylinder right here. I took one of the junk ones on the floor down there and blasted it. So nice clean surface. This one doesn't look like it's damaged or anything. So this should be a good one to use. So they start out looking like this. And when you're done, they look like this. See? Clean. Okay. What's that? Okay. What do we got here? Ah, we can go up there. It doesn't matter. Do this. <clears throat> Put this back in the hole. Big boring bar in it because we're digging a we're doing a big hole. Doing a small hole, we use a small boring bar. Okay, we hit about right there. Okay, set your depth. Should be plenty of clearance at that level. Might move it up a little bit. We'll see. Okay, get a little extra. Okay, should be good. All right, we're at 1500 RPM right now for cutting. Oh, I need to turn the engage the gearing. Okay, gears in. Let's turn this thing down to about 1200. Oh, need, uh, need some power. Power. Not a hundred percent clean, but it's cleaning. Probably all we're gonna need on one car. Almost clean in the back. Got the lowest spot right there. Probably never clean the case up that low, see? But I do. Yeah, stop here every one or two. <clears throat> okay. So going by what we just did, it looks like it could go this way. Maybe one towel. 
going by how the case is clean. The indicator, you guess what you, where the low spots are at, so obviously it's it's the worst is right through here. <clears throat> but, uh, but it's pretty close because you can see how it's still not it's fog in here, but it's not clean. So, <clears throat> and this you can definitely feel a little bit of a lift of about three thou or so at least. All right, so if we moved it this way a little bit, now that looks like that jiggle over to four tenths for some reason. So, <clears throat> all right, if we have any more to cut, we'll change it slightly, but I think it's probably going to be good. I suspect the cylinder is going to go on at this point. Okay, so this was off by which way? Plus, yeah, it moved this way at seven tenths. It moved this way. That's probably why it cut like that. Must have a little pressure on the lead screw. Well, I'll try to leave the pressure on. Okay. right on like it's supposed to. Just a little bit of jiggle jiggle in it. Taking about five or six thousand clearance maybe, hard to tell. <clears throat> so we're going to measure our cylinder here. Zero it. Sesame. Zero. So I zeroed it out, so whatever our number is over here is our clearance. So it looks like we got almost ten. No more than I wanted, but 5 to 10 is good, 12, 10, 11, that's still good. If you're doing a really, really close fit, you run 3 to 5 thou clearance. When you get down to 3, the cylinders don't want to go down. When you're at 5 to 10 thou clearance, they usually slip down pretty good. So we're in the 8 to 8, 11, 8 to 12, somewhere in the area right now, so a little extra clearance but good but like I said this is I don't know what the his cylinders are I don't know if they're aftermarket they cut different you don't know so too tight you can't use a little bit loose ain't gonna really hurt you so there you go now you want to put a chamfer on here so there's a little bit of a fillet right here on the edge so you want to make sure you got chamfer in here so it'll go down nice and cleanly it looked like a cylinder was going down all right because I got the little extra clearance in there and also to drop all the way down it on the surface without a problem. But that's this cylinder. An aftermarket cylinder might have a bigger fillet in there and not fit. So you want to do that. So stick I pull it out straight until it comes. So, so I'll, get it, I'll put a little chamfer right here and make sure it's going to be fine. So I'm going to pull this out of here. My tools are not near the melon machine. Tools are over here for some reason because this is the melon machine table, workbench. So all the stuff for milling is still over here because I haven't moved it all yet. It's a lot of work to move all them drawers and put them all over there. Okay, here's our cutter. Just come down like that. I just give a little bit of a kiss. You put about a 30 to 50 thou chamfer on there, depending on how far you want to go. And we're golden. Okay, so let's go ahead and move the table back over.
Stop to three tenths. A lot of negative there. It's like I never even used this thing before. Huh. Needs to be regrounded a different spot. I don't know how it could be that far off. I use this a ton. I never noticed it being off before. I've used a tool for years, everything's perfect, and then I go use it the last time, it's way the hell off. When you put it like this, it's not off that far. It's an illusion, I guess. Yep. That's how it's ground. It's actually got a lot of positive to it right now, but the cutting edge is not negative because of the way it's brown. Okay. <clears throat> well, that explains it. Most people don't know what I'm just talking about, but people that do understand. Okay, so now we move it back and get it back inside the case where it needs to be. Let's just make sure I can tighten that all the way. It's tight now. You don't want that to drop out while you're using it. It could get nasty. And that's not far enough to go. Nope, see, okay. Okay, that means this is going to have to go way out this direction. This is going to have to go the other way. Might have to slow the RPM down a little bit, be out of balance a lot. You have to worry about that ever hitting. You do it like that. So there you go. Takes one second to cut it and five minutes to set it up. Typical. So that goes right there. Okay. We're done with this side. Move it to the other side. All right. Be back. 